Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Crypto News Channel. The future of technology, the future of freedom, the future of news, and all this have a binary code. Daily Crypto News. Crypto is not a priority for most private banks, FED survey concludes. Most banks do not expect DLT or crypto-related products to impact their liquidity management practices in the next 2-5 years and 5-10 years. However, respondents said they are monitoring the situation and will adapt to the landscape as needed. The Federal Reserve is considering launching a U.S. Central Bank Digital Currency Jerome Powell, chairman of the Fed, said during a conference in Washington, June 17. Powell added that a CBDC could help maintain the dollar's international standing. There is no tentative launch date for a digital dollar. Bitcoin rejected at the dollar 21k. Lido skyrockets 20% daily. BTC, for once, soared above dollar 21k, reaching as high as dollar 21,200, before getting rejected and dropping to where it currently trades at around dollar 20,600. ETH is in the lead when it comes to forced liquidations with $71 million, more than twice compared to Bitcoin's liquidations. Most of the alternative coins are also trading in the red over the past 24 hours, after failing to sustain the gains they made in the intraday. ADA is down 1.7%, SOL is down 3.5%, F 0.38%, and so forth. Even the major cryptocurrencies that are trading in the green are charting insignificant increases. Lido's LDO token is up a whopping 20% in the last 24 hours. BitMEX explains why Ethereum has more dApps than Bitcoin. Report explores online discussions from March 2014 among Bitcoin core developers pertaining to Bitcoin's application layer. Counterparty uses OP return to store data that is provably unspendable transactions. Some say these types of transactions help to scale Bitcoin, as they do not require prune Bitcoin notes to store their data. Counterparty co-founder Luke Jr. Luke Jr made the statement and actions drew anger from many members of the counterparty community. Others argue that counterparty transactions constituted financial transactions and therefore were in line with what Bitcoin nodes agreed to store. Sidechains had failed to gain critical mass as a scaling solution for Bitcoin due to various limitations of the technology. Developers simply did not have time to build a secure, merge mine sidechain before other protocols won market share. Sidechains are thought to have limited use cases that don't ultimately require security guarantees. That's all the most interesting news so far. Don't forget to subscribe to Daily Crypto News and hit the bell so you don't miss important crypto signals. See you soon.